So David, you're back in Boynton again. You've had a good look round now. What do you think the challenges are that are facing us here in Boynton? I think there are several. Um, one that I'd like to focus on for a minute, because I think it's vitally important to the community, is the plans for revitalisation of the village centre. Uh, when I first got to know Point, I was really excited to learn about the plans. Uh -huh. um, a lot of talk about shared spaces and the opportunity to open up uh, Park Lane for greater access for pedestrians and make sure that it's a more vibrant environment to be able to come and shop and spend mm -hmm. time in, which is exactly what Point needs. Okay, and about more how do you view the wider community, the challenges that we're facing as a, as a community of 15,000 people? Yeah, I think a lot of people don't remember how big Pointing really is, uh, given its location in Cheshire. Um, but it's got a really vibrant community. Um, I spend time meeting with various community groups. Mm -hmm. I know the Scouts are vibrant. I know you've got fantastic uh, church uh, groups here as well. Really vibrant community. But one thing that I've been particularly impressed in is how the community's come together to target particular issues. Um, I mean, one that's particularly important is law and order. And there have been some real issues in the past, several years ago, where uh, some of the, uh, the youths have been causing some problems. And the community came together to sort out the challenges. I think the town council took the lead, mm -hmm. uh, working together to get some PCSOs in place to support mm -hmm. the police. And as a result of the work that's gone on, um, we've got much calmer community. Um, and what I, I love doing is coming into the, the village centre and having a chat with some of the PCSOs who are very much part of the community. They can tell you what's going on. Okay, looking a little wider uh, on your <coughs> visits around here, you can't have failed to notice that we have a major airfield right next to us, British Aerospace Woodford, where they're producing the last of the, the, the um, uh, Nimrod aircraft. How does that play into your uh, view of the future for Boynton? Well, I think there's some immediate priorities. I mean, first of all, we want to give every bit of support we possibly can mm -hmm. to BAE so they can get those aeroplanes produced um, and provide worthwhile work for those people who are currently employed at BAE. Mm -hmm. um, and I think from our previous conversation, we're talking around, was it 400, 500 people that will be losing their yeah. jobs over the rest of this year? Yeah. So let's, let's make sure those, that work takes place and then work together to help find them worthwhile jobs in the area. I mean, that is also about trying to regenerate the local economy. And then beyond that, then there's obviously this huge site that needs mm -hmm. to be um, found a future for. And as we've been talking uh, together and working with BAE, it's clear that there are some big plans afoot. Stockport have been taking the lead. The conversations are anything up to 500 plus houses at Woodford. And my concern, I know it's your concern as well, is what are we going to do in terms mm -hmm. of making sure the infrastructure is in place? Mm -hmm. Because if it's not, then mm -hmm. more than doubling the size of Woodford is going to put huge pressure on the schools here in Poynton, um, and not just schools, but the roads, um, policing, yeah. all the public services. And so we need to make sure that we're fully involved. And I think you're, you're making sure that Cheshire East Council are fully involved in those processes I'm, as well. I'm doing my best, but. It, as I say, most of the site that's going to be developed is actually within the Stockport metropolitan that's area, right. and they will have the final say on it. But a particular concern to me, and most of the people in Poynton, I guess, is the desperate need for a bypass. And I see this as a golden opportunity, but we need help, not just from British Aerospace or cooperation. We need help from Stockport, help from Cheshire East, but I think most of all, we're going to need help from Westminster. Yeah, I mean, clearly some of the conversations are around what's going to happen to the bypass in the north of Poynton, uh, which would part of the Sands mm -hmm. link. Uh, but this, as you say, is an ideal opportunity to push hard uh, to get a focus on the possibility of having a bypass from Little Chef, which would then join up onto the roundabout. So we need to campaign for these things. Mm -hmm. uh, so <clears throat> let's get clear plans as to what's going to happen first, make sure the infrastructure is in place, uh, and then absolutely focus on the roads, because it could lead to greater congestion in Poynton, which is exactly not what we need. Great. You know, you've used the word focus there a few times. Uh, how are we going to work together to focus on making sure that Poynton isn't the forgotten corner of North northeast Cheshire? Well, as we've been saying, I mean, Poynton's got a great future. It's a vibrant community. Um, I think one of the, the best experiences I've had since being a candidate was turning out for Park Fest back in December. Oh, the fest on Park Lane? Yeah, at Christmas time. Yeah. yeah, unbelievable to see how many people are here. So, Tremendous community spirit. So I don't, I don't we, Poynton won't get lost, that's for sure. Um, with the work that you're doing on the town council and with the other town councillors and with Cheshire East, well, what I need to do 
is to make sure I'm fully aware of the issues working with you and working with the local community and then working hard to ensure that the key issues facing points, whether it's BAE, whether it's the road network or mm. even rail issues, get the folks they need down there. So it's very much a partnership mm. working with you and with the local community.